I think artists are really individualized people and so they, they fit the island profile really well. But there's also this wonderful natural environment and also a vibrant community. So artists seem to flourish in this type of region. As a painter, I always like to paint what's around me. In Toronto, I'm always painting buildings, horizontal, vertical, perspective, very uh, linear type of drawing of uh, artwork. So when I got to the Gulf Islands, when I saw these organic branches, organic trees and foliage, you know, how am I gonna capture this? Bit by bit, I already just I just tackled it and uh, see what I can come up with. It's amazing to see how many artists of all different disciplines are on the islands, and I think it's a very peaceful place. You can kind of escape from the hustle of the city and just you know the demands of being in an industry, whether it's the visual arts or the music industry, because there are so many artists, you find this amazing, vibrant community of people who you know you can collaborate with and, and learn from and inspire. Um, so it, it does just, because there are more people here, it fosters this amazing community. And one of the things I really do love about the island is it brings out everyone's creativity. And the people that are here, all the beautiful, wonderful artists, are constantly encouraging others to find that little artist within themselves. I think probably just look around outside and the, the, it's just constant. The world here is changing so quickly that morning till night there's always inspiration. All of my art it very clearly represents uh, living out on the west coast with the trees and the ocean and so one of my most popular designs is a bicycle with trees growing out of it. Um, I also have waves with trees coming out of it. It's a common theme, trees growing out of things. All you have to do is watch the moon, <laughs> the moon rising and setting and that inspires me for a ton of my work. The water, the water changes daily, light, you know, seasonally. Um, we have so many people talk about the color green and I say, yeah, just look out there and there's, I think, 57 colors of green. Some of it is through the vibrant sunsets that happen and you can see it splashed in color on their canvas. Some of them connect more with the, the flora and the fauna. Someone like me that presses the ferns and the feathers and the found objects. People that connect with the sandstone, the turning of wood bowls and old crafts that are reawakened on the islands. We're all influenced by the natural environment. It, even whether we paint nature or landscape, it doesn't matter. We're all influenced by it and by the solitude and the, the walks and the, and the changing moods of just being out in, with the sea and the land and the, the changing light, the, the vegetation, all of it. We, most of us have gardens and, and we live in the soil too. So it's, it affects all of us in a way that, that's quite profound and, and quite internal, whether or not it gets shown as a picture of the place we are, it, it really affects your heart, your mood, your mind. Mm -hmm.